Volleyball is not a big sport in Denmark. We have maybe around 10,000 players, all ages, all genders. Not a lot of people know about it. I didn't even know about it until my mom was like, maybe you should try this. I kind of just fell in love with the sport. Um, I had one, one friend, we started out together and I kind of followed our journey together and just the people that I've gotten to know throughout the, my journey. When I met her for the first time, I thought like she would have an accent or like it would be difficult for her to, her to understand English and she completely like <laughs> was fine and she, you can even tell she was from a different country um, except there was the first time like I talk kind of fast especially when I'm like meeting new people because I get nervous and she looked at me and she's like hold on she's like I understand everything she's like we gotta slow down for me and that probably happened like the first month and then she like picked it up super fast and we kept getting like we look alike from the back especially and so people kept getting us confused. And so it was like, are you guys sisters? Are you guys twins? And we were like, no, she's actually from Denmark. <laughs> when you interact with other students, do they know that you're from out of the country? Does it take them a while to pick up on it? Uh, no, they don't know until I tell them. And when I tell them, they're like, oh. And then they realize like in some words, like I pronounce wrong or like the accent isn't really there. So it's not really until I tell people that I'm from out of the country um, that they know. <laughs> The transition uh, for anybody uh, as a freshman is difficult, but then I think when you throw in uh, culture, uh, as you do, and then the United States is such a large country that each region has its own, you know, cultural, uh, you know, nuances, if you will. So uh, I think those are those are challenges for for international students at the best of time. Like it's a really great experience. Like this is something I love to do. Like I love go travel, uh, experience different cultures. It's different. It really is. Like it's hard to get into the situation like just being alone. That was like one of the concerns when I came here, uh, not having anybody, not knowing anybody, family, no, <laughs> friends, no. Like the really person I really knew was the coaches. Kind of created my own family with the coaches and the team. I think being a, a teammate, being on a team. Uh, you know, you have some built-in friendships, you have some uh, built-in help, and so I think that's, that's been, uh, it's been crucial for her to feel comfortable and at home here in Fayetteville. I'm very thankful for the year that I had, my retro year, because having to go come straight into playing would have been very overwhelming. I think I, I spent that year well to kind of get familiar with uh, the level here with the volleyball here, um, just the SEC in general. Obviously we're playing really, really good teams, um, so it's really hard uh, playing against even even taller people than me. Um, I, I'm the tallest person on the team, but playing against Florida who has six, eight girls, like that's a whole nother level. <laughs> she has gotten so much more confident on the court and like just her presence on the court. Because I felt like when she first came, she kind of like shied away, like she's the tallest girl on our, on the court right now. And she would be like, you know, kind of like shy and timid, like, you know, like not really involving herself um, the very first, and especially because she redshirted, it was just like kind of, I think a little hard for her to adapt and stuff, not knowing like how we would take it and stuff like that. But I mean, this spring, she's just become a different player. I mean, she, she gets excited about her, you know, blocks and her kills, and uh, she gets excited for us. And it's just she comes in, in the middle, and she's just like fired up, and she's so like happy, and so um, just huge growth. And it's just it's fun to watch. It's fun to see because I can take a step back and just be like, wow, like look at where you were two years ago. As for this year, Maya would love nothing more than to get the Razorbacks back to the NCAA tournament. Honestly, I'm going to take one game at a time, and we're going to do our best. That's, but obviously the overall goal is to reach to the tournament, and I would love that. Like that would be an experience in itself. If you called, if you guys make the tournament, and you call back home to Denmark, will people know what you're talking about? Not at all. <laughs> They'll have no idea. 